We will start by creating the employee table in the database. To do this, I go into Spoofy and use the create table command. I create the EMP ID column, which will be an integer not null and serve as the primary key of the table. This is a column that will be automatically populated. For this, I use the generated always as identity clause and set the increment to one. This way, with each insertion, this column will be automatically defined. Next, I create the first name and last name columns as char with a length of 15. And finally, the salary column as an integer. I need to specify the location in the DB2 system where this table will be created, so I indicate my database and table space. After that, I create a unique index on the primary key and I execute a comment. I will then insert two rows into this table. Finally, I run a select to display these rows. Our table is correctly created. Now we will go to the DCL Gen panel and create the DCL for the table employee. 